Hey everyone, this is Chris, and it's been quite some time since I recorded a video, uh, but I'm sitting here in between two major holidays, no real work or other major responsibilities to do, minus my breakfast dishes that thankfully you can't see behind the camera. I decided to play a game, record it, and upload a video for old times' sake. You've probably noticed this is not Lord of the Rings. I have basically been playing Marvel nonstop since it came out. I really think that the designers learned a lot of lessons from The Lord of the Rings and Arkham Horror that they've applied to this game in a really effective way. And I think there's some lessons they haven't learned, but that's for a different video. So right now we are just going to take Protection She-Hulk up against Expert Rhino. Uh, and my additional modular encounter sets are uh, Bomb Scare, I'm trying to remember the name of that one, and Legions of Hydra. So we're really just doubling down on Hydra coming out of the encounter deck, which could be good, could be bad, depends on how this goes. So let's give it a shot. I already got my opening hand, and I have some of my favorite cards for She-Hulk and Protection right away. So first things first, you use Strength to put an Energy Barrier into play. This card is phenomenal because one, it saves you a bunch of damage, and two, it synergizes with She-Hulk's card draw, Focused Rage. I'm going to drop three for Hellcat as well. Probably, honestly, my favorite of all the She-Hulk cards, just because of how effective it is at clearing threat. I am going to flip to She-Hulk. Triggering that ability, targeting Rhino, since I have no other choice. And at this point, with no cards in my hand, and I don't want to take two encounter cards this round, we're going to use Hellcat and She-Hulk to clear, break it, and take it. At this point, we're done. So, everyone refreshes, draw back up to my, unfortunately, significantly smaller hand size here. But we'll, we'll get around that soon enough. Scheme is going to advance, adding up one threat. Rhino is going to attack, which at this point I'm just going to take. I have so much HP. Charge for two extra damage is not the best, but it's all right. Uh, sitting at 10 out of 15 is not that bad. Uh, and I draw an encounter card. All right, exhaustion from the expert set is not a lot of fun, but I'll take it. And it surges into Shocker. One more damage to me, uh, but honestly, at this point, I am going to take that damage and deal one back to him with Energy Barrier. Yeah, I think that's fair. Um, yeah. All right, we're going to leave it at that. We're moving on to the next round. One threat on the scheme is not so bad. Uh, but I don't really want to keep it there for very long. So let's remove it with Hellcat. Bring her up to two damage. Before I go, I'm going to play Tackle, targeting Rhino. Discarding three cards, including another tackle, which you can't see because I'm sitting on top of it with the face cam. Uh, but that gives me the physical resource I need to stun Rhino. Three damage puts him at 10. And at this point, I would really like to get some more cards. So I'm going to chance it and flip back to Jennifer Walters. Refresh these heroes. Draw my six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, not bad. So, uh, Scheme is going to advance, but I object. Rhino is going to Scheme. I feel like I do this every time. I let the villain Scheme and pull an advance out of the encounter deck. So that's one. Shocker Schemes for two, which should be easy for me to avoid thanks to Hellcat. 
And I get one encounter card. <laughs> Which is another advance, but honestly seeing both of them gone is pretty good. So, and hey, there's Shadows of the Past, so no Titania for a while. Uh, three more brings us to five. Seven. Uh, and if I lose this because of swapping to She-Hulk, I'm going to be upset. I think we'll be okay for now. So what we're going to do here, back my turn, to flip into She-Hulk. Two damage, clears out Shocker. Thwart again for one. Uh, and at this point, I have to bring Hellcat back to my hand and play her one more time. Want to get rid of one, two. Gamma Slam is not super useful right now. Three. Hellcat back into play. Exhaust her immediately. Take two of that threat off. Uh, now the cards I have, not super great right now for continuing to build up. Rhino is stunned, so he's not going to attack me. So I'm just going to ditch my whole hand in the refresh phase. Draw back up four fresh cards. Well, I don't know if that's a lot better, but at least it's something. So, moving into villains. Scheme advances. Rhino attacks, but just clears that stun. And I get one encounter card, which is a Hydra soldier. Not, uh, not loving that, but it's okay. Uh, yep, yep, yep. I don't have a great way of... I, mean, I guess I can just kill it, which is fine. Alright, so we are going to use this genius, put an enhanced reflexes into play. Uh, I can attack and I can ground stomp. Is that worth it? I think maybe it is. Actually, no. Let me just play Indomitable to ready after defending. I will use She-Hulk to put three damage on the Hydra Soldier. And I will use Hellcat to remove two threat off of the break-in. Uh, both advances are gone, so I can't get up to seven this round. But I still don't want it to be super high. That'll be it. So we draw back up to four. There's a focused rage, so I'm, I'm feeling happier now. All right, scheme advances. Rhino attacks for three. I'm gonna defend with She-Hulk. I now have tapped every different direction. Uh, so two defense against his three attack, plus no boost means that I would take one damage. Uh, but I'm gonna use a reflection counter Get rid of this Hydra Soldier, so I don't have to take his attack. And I'm going to use Indomitable to ready She-Hulk. Get an encounter card. False Alarm! Alright. Um, I'm not super worried about being confused. I have thwarted with She-Hulk a little bit, but with uh, Hellcat rolling, I don't think I'm going to need to worry about that. All right, so my turn this time. I'm gonna use energy to drop in another enhanced reflexes. I use both of these and one preemptive strike to put in focused rage. Uh, and I'm gonna immediately trigger focused rage to draw a card. This one is not great, but that's okay. It does cost me one damage, which I could reflect to the villain. Uh, actually, yeah. As long as I'm sitting here most of the way through my deck, uh, what I think I'm gonna do is use this last energy barrier counter to make the Rhino pay for me drawing cards instead of the other way around. Uh, I can't 
or at all this round. So I think I'm going to have to stay in Shihom form. So I'm going to clear confusion by attempting to thwart. I'm going to leave Hellcat where she is, discard this one two punch, and move on to the villain phase. Got my cards. Counter punch is good. Second focused rage is very good. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good right now. All right, scheme advances to three. Rhino is going to attack. Uh, honestly, I'm gonna take it. I think I can just take it. Four damage brings me down to six. Getting into decent Gamma Slam territory, but that's in here. One encounter card. All right, Rhino becomes tough, which is entirely fine. All right, so moving on to my turn. Uh, Focused Rage again, draw myself a card. We're going to use one, two, and three. And on another focus range, which I will use to take a damage and draw a card. Um, so I didn't need that card, but it's okay. I'm going to bring Hellcat back to my hand. Drop in a Hellcat. Depending. Three cards. She's going to thwart to bring me down to one. I think I want to end in, well, let's count how many cards I have left. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, so I'm going to get that extra encounter card regardless. Uh, so I'm going to thwart for one, flip into Jennifer Walters, and move on to the next round. Unfortunately, I didn't get to use these extra resources in time for a second cycle through the deck. I'm not super worried about it. My, my health is low right now, but I'm in pretty good shape. I shouldn't take too much surprise damage. I could let Hellcat die if I need to. Uh, at this point, I'll have a pretty good chance of working into some additional stuns, mitigate some more, uh, get those collect barriers rolling again, ping down Rhino with my card draw. All right. Well, you know, I'm pretty happy with this hand, all things considered. So let's move on. Not that I have a choice. Scheme advances, but I object. Our Rhino is going to scheme for one. Armored Rhino suit means it's only one. And I get a second encounter card for the round. So we get Hydra Bomber. Uh, let's put Threat on the main scheme. And Master Plan. All right, so this is the card that kind of screws me over so many times. We basically just dig until we get a side scheme. And with this setup, it's probably Madam Hydra. Ooh, no, it's not. Uh, crowd control is way better. And there's my obligation gone on the top of the discard pile. Just looking at two threat on this crowd control. I can handle that. I can handle that all day. Yeah, feeling good right now. So uh, I'm gonna play Superhuman Law Division, discarding this preemptive strike. Use the Law Division immediately, dropping the power of protection for that resource match. Remove two off of crowd control. It's not super urgent, but it's kind of annoying. Hellcat to clear the break in.
And at this point, I am going to flip to She-Hulk. <laughs> uh, before I do that, I'm going to recover, get myself back up to nine health, which is significantly safer, then flip to She-Hulk, and use my two damage to remove the Rhino's tough status. I'll use two Focused Rage to draw two cards. All right, well, that's just fun. Uh, so this should be interesting. I'll use two Enhanced Reflexes to pay for a third. Coming in with three fresh counters on it. Uh, enhanced Reflexes plus a Preemptive Strike turns in two. Superhuman strength. I have a plan. It is hilarious. I'm going to have to deal with Hydro Bomber, but that's okay. So, end of the round, we refresh, do all of these things. Uh, keeping both of these, so I'll draw two more cards. Split personality and energy barrier are. Kind of huge. So, scheme advances. Rhino attacks with a boost. I'm going to defend to reduce some of this damage. It is a Hydra Soldier, so he's swinging in for four. That means I'll take two. I'm going to play Counter Punch. Deal five damage to him, thanks to my superhuman strength. And give him a stun. Bringing him down to four. Uh, I don't want to play a second counter punch for two more. Down to one on this side. Uh, thankfully, the when revealed of Rhino 3 is not super extravagant, so I'm not really worried about taking him over to the other side. Hydra Bomber is going to attack, which deals me one damage. And I'm right back to where I was. Which could be interesting, but Rhino is stunned, so we're pretty safe right now. And I get one encounter card. There's Madam Hydra. All right. Legions of Hydra coming in with five. Uh, nope, sorry. Coming in with seven, because I left a Hydra Bomber engaged with me that I could have cleared out. This might be the end of it, by the way. I might just be doomed here. Because that seven threat side scheme is a little bit above and beyond what I can easily handle. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I am exhausted because I defended, so we're just going to have to roll with this. All right, at this point, I need to. I take too much damage, I'm just in a bad way. But I need to flip. Draw two cards. Hoping to get something real good here. Could stun Madam Hydra. Uh, but I think instead what I really need to do is drop one of these, a couple extra cards for split personality. Flips me to Jennifer Walters. Draws me five cards. Oh, I have the legal practice that allows me to clear legions of Hydra. I don't really want to. I'm going to use this tackle. Oh. Care so much about the icons, uh, but what I really want to do is stun Madam Hydra.
Use superhuman law division to pull off two from the legions of Hydra. Uh, discarding get behind me. I have another tackle, but I want to hold on to it. Uh, I do also need to flip back into She-Hulk, which does two damage to clear out Hydra Bomber. Could be in a bad spot. All right, <laughs> let's draw back up. Well, there's another legal practice. I can only draw one additional card right now. Uh, so, scheme advances. Rhino and Madam Hydra both clear their stuns. I draw two encounter cards because of Legions of Hydra. Assault, uh, the villain attacks you. Um, all right. Gonna have to put Hellcat in the way of that, otherwise I am just dead. Sorry, Hellcat, thank you. And the last one. All right, well, now, uh, at this point, I went out with 10 threat on the Legions of Hydra, revealing two additional encounter cards every round, sitting here at 2 HP. It was a good run. <laughs> All right, everyone. I think it's going to be it for this attempt. Uh, maybe while I've got everything set up, I'll record another video, uh, do some more playthrough stuff. I did spend about an hour today updating drivers and software and all of these things, so it should be easier to do in the future. Thanks for watching.